Blessings, Lafayette family and Facebook friends. My daily message for Monday, March 15th. And I remind you that daily messages, Sunday worship, sacred music, and other content are available at FountainChurchTallahassee.org. Also, join us every Sunday morning at 10 on these beautiful grounds for Drive Up Worship. My scripture today is 1 Peter 4, verse 13. But rejoice in so far as you share Christ's sufferings, that you may also rejoice and be glad when his glory is revealed. This is the word of the Lord. Many years ago, a missionary society wrote to David Livingstone and asked, Have you found a good road to where you are? Because he was a missionary deep in South Central Africa. If you have found a good road, we want to know how to send other men to join you. <laughs> well, Livingstone wrote back, if you have men who will come only if they know there is a good road, I don't want them. I want men who will come even if there is no road at all. Yes, in Christian missions, according to Livingstone, where we're going, we don't need roads. What he means is not that we shouldn't look for a good road if that's possible, but he means that no matter what the obstacle or the hurdle, no matter what stands between you and a right relationship with the Lord, no matter what's keeping you from witnessing to your friends and neighbors and family, Whatever keeps you or holds you back from being the full human being that God created you to be with all the powers and potentials that the Lord knows are within you. Whatever holds you back, don't let it be a permanent obstacle. Find a way. Find a way to go over, under, around, or through. The Lord will lead you on paths that you will find to be surprisingly straight if you trust in his leading, his will, and his way. Remember, the Christian faith is going forth, and we don't need roads to get there. Let us pray. Lord, we ask that you would challenge us to move past anything that holds us back that you would invite us and encourage us to strengthen relationships, to increase our witness, to be kind and generous servants. These are our fervent prayers in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ.